the Geekly News has been brought to you by Cookies. So, please press like. Welcome again, my likers, subscribers, and general well-wishers. I'm Sanwin, and here's your Geekly News. Firstly, in RPG news, and size apparently does matter. It's not every day that a game claims to be bigger than Skyrim, but from an open-world map perspective, the boffins have crunched the numbers, and it seems that the upcoming Witcher 3 Wild Hunt game will be two to three times the size of Skyrim's map. That's going to be a workout and a half, but I'm sure you'll have plenty of things to kill, plenty of quests to take, and more than enough next-gen bling to keep you happy. For those who are interested, the game was moved back to 2015 because there was less competition at that point, a better chance at getting an effective marketing campaign, more time will lead to better looking and more polished game all around, and with the inclusion of the next-gen consoles, there are other platforms for them to move the game to. Next up is a topic close to my heart, video games. Specifically a study that was performed by the University of Michigan on 6th graders that found those who spent more time in front of the idiot box were more likely to eat junk food and drink soda, possibly due to the exposure to advertisements selling those products on that platform. It has also been noted that another reason those who play video games are less likely to consume junk foods like potato chips and fries is that their hands are constantly being used in the actions of gaming. I for one am all for chalking this up to a win for the gaming masses, but I'd like to remind you that there is such a thing as the outside world, and exercise is always a good option too. Just be sure to do so in moderation. So, Goat Simulator. Yeah, who would have known, right? Well, it seems they're running, or galloping, no, no, running, a Goat Simulator launch contest. The contest is aimed at getting people building maps for the game and Coffee Stain Studios are taking these user-generated maps on the Goat Simulator Steam Workshop page. According to the wiki, again, who knew it would have a wiki, the best as chosen by the Coffee Stain crew will win amazing prizes and the top maps will be featured on Curse Inc. and at the E3 Expo in June 2014. Get your entry in by May 5th, and you could have your map presented to tens of thousands of people at one of the world's biggest gaming industry events. Seriously, it's a goat simulator. Go make those maps, people, because this thing is freaking epic. And finally, those of us with no life now have a fantastic reason to keep that going. Blizzard Entertainment has released an iOS version of Hearthstone, and apparently it's available first in Australia and New Zealand before the rest of the world. So... Kudos to us, we get something before everyone else for once. As of the time of writing, it wasn't able to be searched for, so the direct link is in the description of this video. Get out there and kick some virtual stools. Job's done. So, once again, thank you for watching, and that has been your Geekly News for the week. I've just got to do it one more time, so stay frosty, and good luck, guys. Job's done.